Hey yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to our channel One to Step and we are back with a brand new video and today's video is on the Binance and it's on how you guys can secure your Binance account. Well, the basic security measure of your account is basically your email and passport which basically is like the minimum requirement you need to have for creating a Binance account but let's say like your passport and your Gmail is not safe enough for you guys and you want to increase our security more because in crypto the more the security the better because if your money is stolen from your bank you can retrieve it by tracking like in which account it got but let's say your crypto account or like your Binance account gets hacked and all your crypto is drained the only thing Binance is gonna do is basically it's gonna you know give you your account back but the crypto which you lost is not gonna come back and there's not any legal measure or there's not like you know anything like your you know police department or anything can do once your crypto is gone from your wallet it's gone poof gone so having like an extra security is always better and i would also recommend you guys to have like a, you know multiple layers of security in order to keep your account safe and i'm gonna be showing you how you guys can do that but before that if you guys are new to our channel one to step then don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to our youtube channel with notification on so you guys can get notified for a future video and let's jump into the video without any further ado first step you gotta come to binance once you come to binance you can click on your profile picture looking icon and go on security over here now this is gonna straight up take you to the security section so the first layer of security is gonna be your passport and your gmail do not forget your login details otherwise it's gonna be a hefty process but if you have also made a video on how you guys can recover your binance account if you guys have forgotten your passport so if you have forgotten your passport you can watch that video all right so you can come over here and once you do that so the first layer of security is going to be your phone number or your email whichever thing you use for creating your binance account so let's say i use my email over here as you guys can see my email so why it's going to be email by default is because i created my binance account using my email but if you guys have created your binance account using your phone number it's going to be your phone number over here whatever the thing is basically it's like this so for me an example I have linked my email so whenever i try to open my binance account a verification code is going to be sent to my email and i gotta see that code and type it then only i can access my binance account for a mobile user basically a verification code is going to be sent to your mobile you got to look at that code type that code and basically you can open your binance account all right so for extra layer if you guys have linked your phone number then you can link your email as well but if you guys have already linked your email then you can link your phone number basically make sure you turn on both this phone number and email verification all right you can click on enable enter your phone number verify your phone number and it's done and for email it's the similar you can click on enable right beside your email and enter your email verify your email and it's done all right make sure both of this is turned on so let's say even after turning both of this on it's still not enough what you can do is you can turn on your authenticator so i've already turned on my authenticator so it says change or remove but if you guys have not yet turned it on there's going to be an enable button right beside authenticator over here which is going to look similar to this enable over here all right so you can click on enable and for those people who do not know authenticator you can basically find the authenticator on your play store or app store just type authenticator and it's going to show you multiple authenticator you can use whichever authenticator you find easy because you know i'm gonna suggest you to use google authenticator because it is one of the securest but binance also have its own authenticator so if you want to use binance authenticator it's up to you all right you can use any authenticator you want just click on enable and binance is going to teach you the process of how you guys can link that authenticator and authenticator is a code app why i said it's a code app is because in the authenticator the code changes every 30 seconds so unless somebody has your phone and they can watch that authenticator they can't access your account all right because the code changes 30 seconds so let's say even if somebody knows that code it's not going to work after 30 seconds so it's like a really good measure of security because the code keeps on changing every 30 seconds all right so if you want to do that you can enable your authenticator and link authenticator i've also told you you can download it from play store or app store all right and link it and it's another level of security and let's say google authenticator and binance authenticator is not enough for you you want some more extra layer of security what you can do is click on enable and enable your security key so a security key is like a pen drive looking thing which you can buy off amazon or any other website just make sure it's a legit security key because some people have bought a fraud security key which has led to their account being hacked so make sure you're buying a legit company's security key all right and there's also multiple youtube videos on how you guys can link your security key in binance 
you can watch those videos and link your security key so a security key is a pen drive looking thing once you link your binance account with that security key unless you plug that thing into your device your binance is not going to open up all right so the advantage is like anybody who wants to open your binance account need to have that security key and disadvantage is if you lose that security key then you can't open your binance account and if somebody takes that security key from you then they can open your binance account as well so there is an advantage and disadvantage of this as well but hey it's an extra layer of security it's a physical security to be honest all right so these are the way on how we guys can increase your binance security so if you guys found our video helpful then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our youtube channel one to step i'll be seeing you guys on my future videos bye bye until then and have a nice day